y'all welcome back to my channel today i'm really excited because we are going back in time a bit from when i initially started my natural hair journey so many of you guys have been asking me for more natural hair wigs and i love my natural hair wigs they are my favorite i love curlier textured hair i am a 4b4c natural and i've been natural for about seven years now and my hair has gone through different changes i recently cut it and did the big chop for those who are new to my channel so it's much shorter and i really i love my short hair however i love length and my hair has had its challenges growing and I've shared another video that I feel like your hair gets to a terminal length and it kind of just stops like there is a such thing as terminal length and some people just don't get you're just not blessed with the really thick long curly hair you're not blessed with really thick long 4c hair or whatever the case may be it just naturally because of genetics may not grow as long and as dense so because of that I decided to start wearing wigs at the beginning of my journey. And one of the first wigs that I tried was finger comber. If you've been a real OG to my channel, you know about my finger comber. Y'all, that was my favorite. I literally purchased my first finger comber unit. and It was the angle balance unit. Do y'all remember that one? Did any of y'all try that unit? I wore that thing forever i loved it so much and after months of wearing the unit every single day and you know the wear and tear that kind of happens and it kind of reaching a point where it was like okay mary we're done here <laughs> i decided to go and buy another one because i really loved it and then i tried different units and i've done videos and i'll link all of those in the cards you all will see me styling different units from finger comber so if you're somebody who is wanting a natural hair look but you don't want to actually pay for human hair because this hair is not human it is on the premium side of synthetic then this will be a good line that i recommend because i tried it and i loved it now their cap construction is a little different from what i'm sure you guys are accustomed to but i'm going to walk you all through the steps of how i get the units to look natural so the one that i'm going to be showing you all today is the Soft Kinks HD unit. And their units come in these nice cardboard boxes and they have a little ribbon around it. You get a little card that has their logo and some photos of their units. I believe this may be the um, Havana Twist, maybe? Not 100% certain, but this is the Soft Kinks. This is the photo of it. And let me just take it off so y'all can see it. Like, look at that. Y'all know this is about to be bomb. And I feel like finger comber, looking, I, I don't even know how I forgot about finger comber. I guess once I got into human hair, I was just like, I don't know. I haven't been wearing synthetic a great deal, but I'm so glad to be able to come back and show you all some more of their units because many of you guys have been asking for it. So I got to deliver, you know what I mean? So... We're going to take the unit out, and from what I've seen on their Instagram, some photos that other individuals have posted with the hair, I'm like, oh my god, I'm excited about this one. So this is the Soft Kinks. Like, look at that texture, guys. I love that, although this is synthetic hair, they have captured our natural hair so well. That's what I loved about it, and I feel like it's more affordable. Now, for synthetic hair, it is a bit on the pricier side. It is under $100, though, so that's good. I remember when I first got my unit, I was like, man, like, um, I'm taking it up a notch because, you know, I was used to going to the beauty supply store and getting my wigs and stuff. Now, of course, they didn't look anything like this because this is just like life. <laughs> but um, yeah, I wanted to try something that looked like my texture, but that was that was a little, you know, look better. So this is what the, the cap construction looks like. So on the inside, you have a breathable cap. So this is really great for those who want to wear a wig during the spring or the summertime. You know, it's getting hotter and you want a protective style. This is going to be a really great option because you don't have to worry about it be, being really heavy. You also don't have to worry about it being one of those caps where it's more so enclosed and it doesn't have a great deal of space. Like, look at this. I can actually put my fingers through there. So your scalp is going to be able to breathe, which is awesome. And this is one that's really, really light and airy. Like this, I don't even feel this. It's like it's not even there. It's like so plush. And look at those curls, guys. The curls are what do it for me. I love how it looks like a braid out. Like at the top, you have definition. And then on the ends, they're 
are these beautiful curls. I just love that. So I'm gonna take off my head wrap and we're gonna put this one on. Now I do have to let you all know that I actually prepped my hair because I was gonna do crochet braids today, but my crochet braids didn't come in today. And I was a bit disappointed because I really wanted to try my crochet braids today, but I remembered that I had this unit. So I was like, let me go ahead and try this one today. So this is, um, I have my hair braided and I have this side out. So we may use this to kind of do some styling. So I don't have any leave out except for this area, but I wanna show you all, I'm actually gonna pin this away because I wanna see if I can actually put this unit on and look great without having any leave out. Now this is a full unit, but you can wear it as a half unit by pulling it back some. This unit does not have any lace. So you can maybe leave out some hair in the front, but I have seen tutorials where they have not left any hair out. And because of how my hair is structured currently, we don't have to try it without any leave out. So um, yeah, let's do this. Oh, let me show you all. So it comes with one comb at the top and it's a long comb. It also comes with a comb at the bottom, which is also a long comb. And this one is actually even longer than the one at the top. No combs on the side and there isn't an adjustable strap. This one stretches a bit, so it, it should be big head friendly as well. See, like, look at that. If I wanted to actually, if I had braided the whole front side, this would literally be a look. Like, braids in the front, hair out in the back, listen to me. Let me just kind of do a little something, something. How cute is that? Yes, I love it. And I'm actually gonna lay my edges a little bit. Maybe I won't, I don't know, we're gonna play around with it. But I love, like look at the shape and everything. Like I love the texture. This hair feels so soft. Now there are two versions of this particular protective style unit. They have one that's called the Soft Kinks, just the regular Soft Kinks. And then they have the Soft Kinks HD. Now I'm sure you all are accustomed to hearing HD and thinking of high definition as relates to TV resolution. But for this particular unit, HD means high density. So for those like me who love big, <laughs> hair and also for those who want something that's longer this is going to be the better option so i'm going to pull it forward and that looks listen listen y'all look at that now there's some there's some little holes in here but if you actually had some of your hair out, what would be cool is because of the holes that are here, you could actually pull some of your hair through and then it completely cover the holes that may be going on. You could also, if you had leave out, just swoop it over and you wouldn't actually have to worry about that at all. I believe the way that it was constructed is for you to be able to just pull it over like that so you wouldn't even actually see the hole. So it gives you a different option. So you could just do it like that. Hole gone, have some leave out, good to go. So now if I were to actually take out this hair on the side, like look, let me show you. I take out this hair on the side. I'm gonna help y'all out because y'all don't know how to wear these units. When I initially purchased my finger comber, there were some interesting reviews, but I was like, this hair look good and I'm gonna try it out because in the right hands, we can kill. Now look at this, look at that. Okay, now, all right, this is what it's looking like. I told y'all the holes that we had here, if you flip it over here, you don't even see those holes. But I told y'all the advantage of the holes now. The, the, those holes are good for you. If you, want your, if you want your scalp to breathe, the holes are good. Now, this area, where you can still kind of see it, because I'm all about it be being really natural, even if somebody's really close up on you, because y'all may think that when I started wearing her given hair or the human hair units, that that's when people were like, okay, Mary, like you got really long, beautiful hair. I started wearing these finger combing units and people would be close up on me and they thought for sure this was my hair. I would get stopped all the time with my finger comber units as well. But you gotta know how to rock them, y'all. So, 
All right, this is the leave out that I have. Not very much. If I wanted to completely cover this area so you don't see any of the cap, you can't really see it much now. Look at that. Done deal, game changer, video's over. <laughs> I love it, like look, look. Wig where? Like where's the wig? This is my hair. Y'all gonna be fooling people with this unit. And if you're somebody, again, that doesn't like all the length and volume, you can try the regular one. So I'm just gonna pin this down. And this is gonna easily pin down because of the holes. I think that was one of, one of the major complaints that people had, like, oh, it has holes in the cap and yada, yada, yada. Y'all just don't understand the advantage of the holes and all the different details that they put into the unit. Now, I know it's not like your regular unit, But you can kill it though. You can kill this. I'm in love. In love. This was so easy. This literally took like no time, none, <laughs> none. And it's a great protective style because most of my hair is tucked away. I only have this area here out and we can go out and look like I spent hours doing a twist out, a twist and curl because I told y'all the ends are curled. Let me get in close so y'all can see. That's what she said. Yep, that's what she said. Every time I come around, she acting shy. She be looking good, she be looking fly. She told her mama that I make her feel like. Like, how cute is that, y'all? Like, come on. Yes, finger comber. Yes, yes, ma'am. This one is great. Now, something to keep in mind with this hair, this is not the type of hair that you want to manipulate a great deal. I wouldn't even manipulate it at all. Leave it the way that it is. If you're going to kind of finger comb or do anything to the hair, stick with playing around with the roots. Don't do anything to the ends because once you've actually disturbed the curl, it's disturbed. It's it's done pretty much. These curls have been created in this unit to stay. For longevity of the unit, don't play around with the curls. Also, take it off at night. I wouldn't advise you to actually wear this throughout the night thinking you're going to wake up and it's going to look the same way it did when you lay down. I wouldn't take a chance on that. What I generally do, I take my units off every night. And with this one, this is definitely one that I want to do that with. I wouldn't go through and start separating and, and using a pick to go in and, you know, do all that. I wouldn't comb through this hair. Don't do any of that. And it, it will last a while. I told you all, I have one that I probably wore every day for like six months. Like I held on to that thing for dear life. <laughs> Because I just loved it. Although I wouldn't recommend you actually doing a great deal of manipulation at all to this unit because I think it's perfect the way that it is. If you were to mess up the curls or maybe over time you start to notice that the hair is just not looking as good as it does currently, you can actually restore the look by actually detangling. You can braid the hair up and put small perm rods on the ends and then put it in hot boiling water. And that's going to create a similar look. Now, is it going to look as great as it does currently? Maybe not, but you would be able to get a similar texture and be able to restore the hair. But y'all, that's the end of this video. I'm so glad that I was able to show you all another finger comber unit. Let me know if y'all want to see some more and which finger comber unit you want to see next. And I'll be sure to do another video for y'all. Be sure to like this video, share with a friend. There are other people I'm sure who want to learn more about different protective styles that'll be good for them. And I just feel like their units are just amazing also be sure to check the description box for the link to this unit and i will link i'll try to link my entire finger comber play, playlist i think i have one on my channel if not i'll put them all in a playlist so y'all can go back and check them out and see what i mean like we were killing the game i hope that y'all are excited about this hair and you're hype about these type videos i look forward to seeing you all in my next video bye guys